you guys my name is Noms Amashase and this is my YouTube channel where I speak about all things books, DIY and lifestyle. If that is your kind of jam, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell to be notified every single time one girl post a video. Today I am attempting something that I haven't done in a very very long time. I'm going to be attempting to read for 24 hours and I'm going to be focusing just only on Colleen Hoover's books. Today I'm going to start with Confess. I'm going to do actually, I'm going to set up a timer. Without further ado, let's get right into this video you guys. I'm currently on three hours and some change um, on page 159. This book we follow Urban and Owen. We first see Urban at 15 years old with this other guy Adam. After that we see Urban. We see her in Texas again. She is meeting Owen. Owen is this artist. He paints. His origins of all his painting are inspirations of confessions that people drop by in his studio, which I think was a great concept. Owen knows Urban, but Urban doesn't know Owen. Right now, we don't know how Owen knows Urban. Urban is just a struggling lady. Custody battles going on. She's just going through something, okay? I'm really liking their chemistry. I'm enjoying it. it it's not wow. But also it's not bad. I'll see you guys later. Hello. <laughs> I've had the shittiest week of my entire life. And I'm trying to laugh about it. Because listen. Certain things that you just have to laugh about it. And not cry about it. And I've been crying the entire week. It's my birth week. Well it was my birth week. Yesterday was my birthday, today is the 19th, it's Friday. I currently have load shedding. I just received these really there's balloons everywhere in my bedroom right now. Nothing is going my way. Like not like not one thing is going my way. You know what? I must just deal with the things that are within my control. Ogunya no gunye, I must not focus on it. That's perhaps the best advice that I've ever gotten. I turned 26 yesterday. Hooray worst birthday of my entire fucking life even the ones that i didn't celebrate were probably better than this one <laughs> we're probably better than this one when you are done crying you laugh that's that's where i'm at right now i'm in the laughing stage and we currently have low shedding to be honest with you i don't want to do any work i don't want to focus on anything so i'm just gonna carry on with the uh, reading vlog i haven't finished confess things just have been happening okay things have just been happening the thing I don't know what happened to my phone. I don't know. Maybe my battery died at some point. But my stopwatch, it restarted itself, which is kind of like another thing. Like, why did you do that? Like, yeah, I just had to get on my Zoom at 10. Because, guys, if I were to tell you the things your girl has been through this week. Yeah. I am 26. I'm gonna do the things that I can control and what I can control is my reading okay is me getting on my zoom at 10 yeah that's all that's literally all I can do right now god over to you can my dear but me and my cousin <laughs> and my cousin have been saying that for like the past 12 hours god over to you can my dear I'm just gonna have my cake drink some wine and read some books these are some of my favorite things
that today I have never been more scared in my entire life. Yeah, this is supposed to be a reading vlog, but I'm out here speaking about my feelings. Anyways, your girl finally finished, confess. Um, what do I have to say about it? It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. Not great, it wasn't good either. The thing that was supposed to be the plot twist, like how Owen knows Urban, was not really... I liked their, their banter, their chemistry was absolutely cute, it was absolutely adorable. It really gave young love. I mean, they are young, they're 21. I think I give it like a 3.5. It's, it's okay. I just want to speak about Trey. Trey truly annoyed me. Trey was written so well that I, ac I actually hated him. Like, I hate Trey. I hate Trey with everything in me. I, ju I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Owen, you know, he was portrayed in a very mysterious way, but also his mystery was just like not that mysterious. It was like whatever. This book is whatever. I, I, there's nothing more I can say. Mm. I'm not on page. This girl, what did she do? This book. Hmm. So here we follow Quinn and Graham. These two met in a very weird situation. Um, they kind of date and then they end up getting married. But it kind of goes back to then, like how they met. And how their dating was to now to their current state of their marriage they're currently going through a lot to see the strain in the marriage and to see Quinn having these internal conflicts with herself all these things happening and just to see her heartbreak guys it's absolutely heart shattering Graham they're such a simple couple guys and there's nothing like extraordinary about them but they're so cute they're so attentive to each other and I feel like maybe that's the reason why Quinn is kind of struggling to reach out to Graham and as in I read a lot of romance I think that's why I have high expectations of niggas I don't care what they say I love me a man that's written by a woman okay yeah there's this thing that Graham says every single time um, Quinn wakes up in the morning it's like what did I miss when you were asleep she's basically asking her about her dreams like he wants to hear about her dreams every single morning. I am on page 147 and I think I'm like six hours, almost to seven hours in. Uh, this one I am absolutely enjoying so much. Where this is going at all. I'm back with a reading update, you guys. I finished All Your Perfect. This one. This book broke my heart. The writing here is so poetic. You know, sometimes the misses, but sometimes Colleen just gets it right. And this time she got it right. This is a five star for me. Just to see the journey of them, how they started being together, seeing their love grow, just seeing the hurricanes of their marriage and the things that they face in their marriage. Graham is the most supportive, most sweet, most nice, most kind, most respectful husband. Seeing him take you through his journey throughout everything was just like damn damn but this book is beautiful so many beautiful quotes so many moments where i was just like i am so in love graham is so smart how he explained god his divinity just like how he sees the world i'm sorry that man is smart yeah absolutely enjoy this book that's all i have for this one um, i also started never never by colleen hoover and terry fisher terian 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 Fisher. This book is a romantic mystery or a mystery romance between Charlie and Silas. They just come to not remembering who they are or how they got there. Like they don't remember anything about their lives and it's just the two of them who don't remember anything. They have been dating for like about four years but they've known each other since they were kids. On page 28 chapter 3 so far i can see this book giving me a headache this is the last book that i will be reading for this 24 hour reading vlog currently on 10 hours going to 11 hours i think i'll just finish 
um the rest of the hours you know just reading this book that's all for this update i'll talk to you guys later when i do have an update <music>[Speaker B Shout out to Jonathan Ball Publishers for sending me this book. Everyone from Jonathan Ball Publishers sees this. Don't ever stop sending me books, okay? Don't ever stop. I love you guys. That is all for this reading vlog. I really do hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And hit that little bell to get notified every single time your homegirl posts a video because she's trying to be consistent, okay? She's trying to come back, be consistent, and post at least once a week. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay good, stay blessed. Love y'all. Bye.